each yeah. confidence building measure is so important. It has taken a generation to realize that. At least. Inspired by the writings of two prominent voices in South Asian security, Brigadier Feroz Khan from Pakistan and Brigadier Gurmeet Kaval from India, a new generation of scholars and future South Asian policymakers have come together to explore new and exciting ideas. Both India and Pakistan have some operational missile systems that are obsolete and could be dangerous and unreliable. Since these missiles will eventually be retired and have been superseded by newer, highly sophisticated systems, why not do so in a transparent way, the new generation asks themselves. Could something as simple as exchanging cell phone pictures between governments improve mutual confidence? Pakistani and Indian youths come together at a missile museum to learn about missiles and test these new confidence building measures. Uh, a missile consists of hundreds of different specialized parts and each part of course has a particular lifespan. The missiles we saw today were meant to be safe for the public and yet you could see highly toxic corrosive fuel leaking out of them even now. The evidence of aging missiles was quite obvious uh, on the missiles that were displayed here at the museum. We could see that there was uh, structural fatigue quite visible on the outer side of the entire missile. I have to say I was very skeptical about all of this till I actually physically saw the corrosion today. Aging missile is a threat to a country who is going to use that for its own. I saw one particular video when the missile took off on, and it exploded and it, the, 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 the height was something like 100 feet. So uh, it just brings me back to the inherent danger of falling within one's own territory. I think the one thing that's become clear to us during these exercises is after a point of time they are a serious danger not just to the enemy but to you. Uh, I myself had no clue about all this when I initially joined this group but uh, one exercise and led to the other and I realized that practical uh, expertise and practical demonstrations help a lot. Mission accomplished. We've had uh, the opportunity of uh, learning not only the theoretical concepts but applying them in virtual real-time conditions and understanding how to negotiate between two parties, how to actually carry out managed access without compromising each other's sensitivities or securities and keeping in mind that each party would have its own uh, expectations with level of transparency. Uh, when you come here and particularly see the things, there's a slight different perception in the sense that, you know, this process uh, is a balanced one and you can, you know, you cannot be deceived. What constitutes a dismantled missile? and how do these missiles look after they've been dismantled and what portions of the missile were actually irreversibly dismantled. There are things about it that you can just look at and say there's no way that that can be faked in any kind of way. I do see a light at the end of the tunnel and I don't think so that the tunnel is too long for us to finish now. This initiative does not in any way I repeat, it does not in any way impinge upon either the defense or the deterrence posture of India or Pakistan. It does not compromise in any way the strategic modernization of weapon systems in both countries, given that that is a very significant aspect and both countries realize it. From my interactions with my Pakistani counterparts who have come for this um, particular exercise, they seem very serious about it. This exercise uh, helped us uh, work with our Indian colleagues. When you get to the table on a very professional issue, you get to know how intelligent your counterparts are about these issues. The Pakistanis in my team were extremely cooperative. We could communicate with each other and think two steps ahead without having to explain those two steps ahead. When you talk and interact with your uh, young colleagues from Indians, I think uh, they think about the issues in the same way that we do. They are concerned about the security issues the way that we are. I, I did not feel uh, that level of uh, arrogance that the way the generation that was before us used to have about it. They are not cynical in their approach like some of us at my age tend to become. 
and uh, they have seen the logic of the idea they know that it can work and it can be sustained over a period of time and that enthusiasm really makes me encourages me so much because they're not just blindly adapting uh, to the ideas that was that existed in cold war they're going to come up with real some very innovative solutions ahead the hope is that probably our endeavor would help both countries to realize the inherent dangers the the destabilizing factor which these obsolescent missiles can cause and that uh, it will be truly beneficial if both countries irreversibly eliminate these missile systems probably no other group of youngsters has been exposed to such ideas or real time exercises it was a unique learning opportunity a couple of decades down the line when relations between india and pakistan are better this project will be remembered as a capstone project that set the ball rolling for peace and stability in the nuclear field between our two countries